Another nice feature that Excel offers is the validation of data. When you validate data in Excel, you are limiting that data to a certain type of data, such as a date, a number, or a text value. This allows you to make sure that any data entered into Excel is in the correct format. For instance, if you want to have the correct name for a certain departments in your company entered into certain cells in your worksheet or table, you can create a drop-down menu that lists the names of each department. This restricts the user to choosing one of the department names from the drop-down menu and ensures that the name is always correctly spelled when it is entered. So let's say that we wanted to create over here under our division column, the divisions of North, Southwest, and West for the appropriate sales rep. We first need to set up our data validation criteria or rule. To do that, you need to access your data tab and notice that over here in the data tools group, you have a data validation command. Let me demonstrate this. You first need to set up what your drop-down menus are going to reflect. So here I have North Division, Southwest Division, and West Division. These are going to be the menu choices in my drop-down menu. Then coming up here to where I want the drop-down menu to first display, select that cell. Then on your data tab in the data tools group, select the data validation command. When you click the drop-down arrow, to the right of that command, you can choose data validation from the drop-down menu. In here, you need to set what your allow validation criteria is. Right now it's set to any value, which is the default setting of Excel. When I click the drop-down menu here next to this field, I can then choose from the various criteria or validation criteria that's available in Excel. Well, I want to create a list, so I'll go ahead and choose list and then over here under source you need to indicate what the source for the drop down menu will be I'll go ahead and collapse this dialog box by clicking the collapse or uncollapse button and then coming down here I will highlight this area notice it appears up here in the data validation field I'll uncollapse this dialog box and then say OK. Notice that now here in A5 I have a little drop down arrow. When I select that I can choose from North, Southwest, or West Division. I'll go ahead and assign the North Division to Jason Smith and then to copy this data validation field all the way down in your table data I'm going to position my mouse on the fill handle in the lower right hand corner so that I get this plus sign as my tool just like a formula you want to click and drag to pull that all the way down then you can come back through and adjust which division through your drop down menu so I'll go ahead and set this up so that Carly Ann has all the Southwest Division and Jim Rogers is in the West. So I have limited what the user can input within this field through data validation. Let's go ahead and apply this to our project. Please open up your sales monthly workbook or make that active. Here you will see the Raspberry Brigade monthly sales report. Let's go ahead and set up a validation of a date value to be inputted always for the week. So let's set our cursor in B4 and again access your data tab, go to data tools and to the data validation command. Select that by clicking the arrow, choose data validation from the drop down menu and then under the allow field select that and choose date. Now once you choose date it will say okay do you want to set your date between, not between, equal to, or not equal to all the way down to some other less than or greater than criteria. So let's go ahead and set this up that it has to be a date between January 1st of 2007 and December 31st of 2007. So we'll choose between, click in the start date field and let's type one forward slash one forward slash o seven and then click in the end date field and type in twelve 
forward slash 31 forward slash 07. Also note that you have an input message as well as an error alert. Let's go ahead and set up an input message for this cell. This will show the input message when the cell is selected. Let's go ahead and call this date and for our input message date required between 1 107 and 12 31 07 and then let's go ahead and set up an error alert message. This is a message that will appear when the end user types in the wrong format of data into this cell. So we'll make it the stop style which indicates it will have this little red circle with an X in the middle and we'll call this need a date and type in your error message please type a date between January 1st 2007 and December 31st 2007. Say OK to that to set that and notice that now in B4 we have date required between January 1st 2007 and December 31st 2007 and let's say we'll type in the word date let's say we're confused notice that I get an error message it says you need a date please type a date between January 1st and December 31st 2007 click retry to try again and let's go ahead and type in 1 dash 1407 and enter that and notice that everything is good we entered the correct data within our worksheet. Nice feature to be able to validate your data. Take a moment and try setting up some other validations within a blank new worksheet. When you are finished, come back to your sales monthly workbook, save it, and move on to the next movie.